get passed around. <laughs> you don't know where that has been. But you know what we, we know these two players have been. They've been here all day, putting in work, trying to work their way into top eight. And wow, shield mode, shield mode making it very difficult for a feature to combo. Yeah. It looked like those team. Oh my god, he's trying to end his life right there. He's going to try and end his life back. again. Well, he's going to make it back to the stage. It's fine. Okay. As long as there's no um, error on the, the human side of things, then Peach's recovery should be able to cover most options. That's right. That's it coming out. Now Buster Mode uh, punishing the jabs. A lot of damage has been put on to Nico, but at the same time, like I was talking about before, this is a very, very light character. The lightest in the game, in fact. So one Smash Art Aerial might be able to finish it off right here, but you can see that Void is being very careful about it. It just throws out that F tilt field, take out that next stock. He threw that F tilt out twice. He was waiting <coughs> for Nico to push a button. Because he knew that at least he was going to be trading. But great drag down with the back air. Even converting off a uh, off down throw with shield mode on. Yep. He chew. Yep, is that thunder in? Still hasn't been able to take that first stock off of uh, Void, so Nico's gonna get something happening here, and he's got Smash Art available once more, but does not risk it. Just goes back to jump mode, be able to get back to the stage, and we go real deep. No, we do not. Okay, getting back to the ledge, fishing with those uh, down tilts and back airs. Oh, but the air slash for recovery was enough to take the stock, but not at not before taking 99%. Yep. So I think uh, I think a forward tilt at the ledge might be able to do it, or a forward smash. That's that true. is also a really long-lasting hitbox. If you just run into it by accident, even if it's already been out, it's still really strong and can kill. That's right. No uh, no weak hitbox for that move, but good option to change into shield mode. It's going to make all those Pichu combos much more difficult to do, as you're just going to fall back to the to the stage. Yep. Now Nico on his last life here for game one. All right, down to, to start the combos and convert into a couple of up airs. Wow, that shield looking very low. All right, Nair comes out. Went for the chase, but wasn't able to find anything. The directional air dodge kind of threw Void off his flow, I think. Punishing Nair with a Nair of his own. Pichu just maintaining this, this control and this pressure and just staying uh, within a certain distance of Nico. Oh, just try to walk up and forward smash with the air slash on the other side and be able to get him out of disadvantage state. And he gets that uh, smash art as well. And I like that. Recovering really low, stalling out from smash mode as long as possible. Almost the entire length of that mode, but Nico was able to clinch out a stock at the very end. I think that was very interesting to see how he uses that Skull Bash to get inwards into Pokemon Stadium as far as possible. Then wall jump to make it still back to the stage and delay the time, like you said, on that. But the back air is not enough. Yes, it is. And that's going to take out the first stock or the first game here in uh, Top 8 Qualifier. That's right. The boy looking so clean, but Nico not looking like a slouch either. He was able to bring that game back and uh, make it very difficult for Boyd. I mean, Smash Mode seems to be Nico's best friend. Yep. From what we've seen him play against SS in this game against Void, he gets uh, a lot of mileage off that Monado. Yep. All right, here we go. Moving into our next game. I don't imagine that we're going to see any character switches from these two. I, I sincerely doubt it. So we're going to have to go ahead and stick with these. And we'll just have to go with the stage picks this time. And we're going to Final Destination. That's right. And uh, this song is very metal. What the heck? <laughs> okay. Getting a good amount of damage. Uh, start of this game. Now Buster Mode going to allow him to either take or deal much more damage. And with the way it's going, it's definitely at the short end of that stick. Mm -hmm. I like what Void did right there. Um, when Nico was turned around behind him, he jabbed to pressure his shield. And then he did a jump there to call out jump out of shield. Very smart stuff coming from Void. I mean, just... The way this game has been uh, tailored, being behind somebody uh, is is pretty disadvantageous. You want to be behind them because there's not not many characters have like out of shield options that hit behind them. Yeah. So it tends to send someone into a sort of a panic mode. All right, what's the option gonna be? Wow! Oh, just intercepts that uh, side B coming back to the stage, but Nico's still gonna be able to make it back with that air slash. 
Yeah, putting a lot of damage with that Buster Mode. And now with Jump Mode, it's going to make it back to the stage. Trying to uh, connect with Nair, but losing his stock. Void getting hit by the back air from Nico. Yep, a very ambitious uh, dash attack right there. And that just gave Nico the opportunity he needed to be able to take out that stock. But this is uh, this is speech you were talking about. There's been a lot of times where uh, the stocking is cleaned up immediately, just like that, into the Nair offstage. And that's going to even things up here. It's like... Whenever he goes off stage like that, it's not even that big of a risk for Pichu. He threw out a Nair. It, has a, a, it lasts a decent amount of time. Uh, so it's almost like putting up a wall that he's going to have to deal with. But no jump from Nico. Double Dare going to take his second stock. That was a really great play with the Dare. Even though if he didn't get that spike, the Dare still sends you in a semi-spike angle, a horizontal off stage, And with no jump, uh, Shulk's going to have a hard time to get back to that. Cross slash out of shield. Or Air slash out of shield uh, is a good option for Shulk. It's a great get off me tool. Just waited for him to land just in case he goes behind him. Trying to get a drag down with that bear, I think, but didn't quite work out. With shield mode, he's not going to be getting a lot of launch. So he even fast fell to just make sure that Nico takes the majority of that back air. Right. Wow, the trade from the right side of the stage was enough. Smash mode is so powerful. I don't even know what move he hit him with. That was crazy. I think they both traded with Nairs. Okay, okay. Are they going to get that back throw? Oh, but the dare. Just gave to get so much damage with We're that gonna see the tilt. What's going to be? Down there. Down throw from Nico. Now, wow, 55% with just a few attacks. Nico trying to sneak in those back airs. Make it very difficult for a horizontal approach. Back air doesn't connect. Oh, that forward tilt doesn't quite happen. Okay, Void looking for his option, but the F tilt coming out, and that's 2 0 Void. How did I know? I just knew that that was going to happen. Because he's just been looking for it that entire, like, he, last 10%. He was so looking forward to that. He was, it was completely telegraphed, but at the same time, when a move comes out that fast and you know they're looking for it, how do you avoid it? No, he was, he, you he don't. was trying it's to, like... It's frame five. You just got to stay out of range, basically. <laughs> he That's was the only thing to. Do. He continued to, like, short hop away, throwing out the back airs, trying to, you know, poke Void, maybe get him out, get him away, change the change the plan up a little bit. But he just continued to pressure him until Evtil connected. Yep, this did not quite work there. Okay, game three, 2-0 Void. And now you see the combo game start. Shield mode makes it very difficult for those up airs to chain. One thing I think that uh, people are, are going to be more inclined to do later on as the meta progresses is that they're going to be able to parry a lot of sword characters' attempts um, to try and attack because uh, parrying sword character moves is a lot easier just because they're a little bit more telegraphed than uh -huh. a melee character. That's right. So we're seeing that from Void. At least he was able to get a couple of punishes from parrying that fair, stuff like that. So you're going to see that optimize a little bit in the future in the meta is my main prediction. Good up tilt into Thunder. And a good pivot grab coming out from Nico, sending Void to the right side of the stage. You know, forward air at this angle. Ooh, since Void so far. I like the switch to Shield. It's going to give him a little bit more time to think. But it only gives him a couple seconds at most. Yep. Peach is just so fast, so it's <laughs> going to be hard to bring it back and get a little bit of time. Oh, the trade comes out. Oh, did he tech? He did get the tech, yeah. Yeah, that was really weird. He like checked and then immediately did a back jump. So it looked like he just like flipped off the wall or something. <laughs> okay, well good drift, but a directional air dodge is gonna cost Nico his stock. Very unfortunate, especially for this well, what's at stake right now. Yep. I mean, uh, I think he just misspaced it there a little bit. And of course, when you air dodge, uh, directional air dodge uh, closer to the floor of the stage, you suffer more end lag. So if you did, if he did it maybe earlier uh, when he was already up there, he probably would have been able to survive. But try to bring him in a mix up that didn't quite work out there. Well, shield mode's back online. And now we're going to see Nico switching out of that as he got that grab. No pressure was being applied. Double forward air. Now 56%. Do you think that's going to be enough? What? That's enough? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The, the poor Pichu, just so light. Jab reset into forward smash. Oh, and he oh, switches wow. the shield, he's though. Switched. So smart. Switched while he was getting hit in the middle of that S smash. 
Uh, you, you, you know you have uh, to thank the option that you can just hold B and then select the Monado right away. You don't have to cycle through them. That That's definitely right. saved Sh uh, Nico right there. What an amazing play. I can't believe he did I mean, that. he got so much percent just from that one play. His being able to maintain his one stock, not able to... Not losing it just yet. Yep. Okay, that's going to be a big punish. All right, down smash. Yep. Down smash sends you in the direction that Pichu is facing. So if you don't know that, your DI can be really whack. But at the same time, that's a very strong move anyway. So it probably just would have died anyway. Shield mode or smash mode online. Ooh, watch those up tilts. Yeah, I got to be careful. De up tilt is definitely not as crazy as it was in uh, Smash 4. But still, it's a very strong move. And a great anti-air as well. Yes, yes it is. But a back air sneaks in for Nico. Now just re retreating to the other side of the stage. And a back air connecting for Nico, putting himself on the board. One, two. Yeah, finally going to get a, a turnaround back air. Void still in this, though. He's got two counter picks to be able to try and figure something out against this Shulk. That's right. He does, and it looks like he already knows what stage he wants to go to. He's taking him to final destination. Yep. Void trying to make this the final game before he can qualify the top eight. Nico, tournament life. Well, not tournament life on the line, but you know, this, why make the losers run when you can advance to top eight right now? Yep. Can I have to see how this goes, though? Okay, looks like we're not seeing as a, as offensive of a start from both of our players. All right, fair chains come out. Oh, we tried to get the two frame on the ledge grab. Didn't find it. Yep. Now Nico answering back with some damage of his own. Down tilt into down air. Yep, that's a thing. <laughs> did it on did it to Void at Super Splat Brothers. Did it to Nico here. <laughs> it's been a while since uh, we've seen that though. He's been waiting for that setup. But yeah. uh, he, of course Pichu has so many options available to them, so. That's right. He's probably holding on to that in his pocket to a point where he would uh, absolutely need it. Game uh Game four, this seems like a good opportunity to use it. Yeah, especially at that opportunity where uh, Nico was just uh, drifting towards him. It was great, a great time to use it. And already trying to overlap the percents. Boy, just going to get another fair. Try to get that there. And finally, just a reversal. And that's what I'm talking about. If you go a little bit too hard on your uh, punish game, sometimes you can get reversal like that very easily. That's right. You can see a down throw and shield. Cycling to shield, getting a, make sure he's not getting combo too hard from that down throw. But the shield mode not going to be available right now as Thunder sends Nico down to the stage but doesn't get hit by the sweet spot. All right, neutral air into fair. Almost had that last fair too, but Void was just a little bit too high. And throwing out a couple of F tilts, even getting the run back pivot F tilt to take the stock. He made it very clear what option he was looking for there. Yep. As if the first earth tilt didn't work, then as he was grabbing onto the ledge and couldn't act out of it because he was still grabbing on the ledge, he just dashed back and then called out an option and then get that uh, four tilt. That's right. Run by. <laughs> Looking for an air. Doesn't find it. I like the dash back. The dash dancing from Void making it very difficult for Nico. But smash mode, even from across the stage, is probably enough to kill. Wow, the up, up tilt. tilt! Wow, that's gonna be able to do it. He didn't do it that like he didn't use it like an anti-air that entire set, and now he finally used it and be able to take out that stock relatively early, especially against Pichu. Both players showing all the cards now. All right, up smash, F smash, not gonna connect, and now Nico continuing his assault Buster mode, coming on. All right, see a back throw. throw. Yep. yep, get that Ken back throw. S smash not going to work, but double S smash doesn't work either. He has no jump, but directional air dodges and able to stay on. Smash mode. Oh, that S smash clanked with the thunder jolt. Yep, he's still just fine, but of course, smash art is about to run out right here. But if he can still get a really good hit, and he might be able to finish this off. But he's just going really low on the stage, but boy, not able to get the punish. And Nico just hesitates a little bit, doesn't get anything off of it, though. He's going to get that fair, though. And now smash mode should be off cooldown. Should be seeing him cycle to it any second. Fair connects and smash mode is here. Second hit of, of the recovery doesn't connect. Oh, even with spamming the four tilt, isn't able to connect it. Oh. And he gets that fair, but it's still not going to be enough. Switches to jump mode, tries to go really hard off stage, but he just misphases it. Qu not quite right. No mode activated at the second, but Buster coming out. Shield poking with the forward air. 
What's that option going to be? We're going to see another half tilt. He connects. Void makes it to top eight. Man, Nico had so much momentum going into <laughs> that last stock right there, but was just not able to find the right situation. And of course, Peach is just so fast. You're able to get that four tilt in those very scary uh, situations. So he's going to be moving on 3-1. With the way that these two, that game three, that game four was just so close. Really could have gone either way. Avoid was able to clutch it out, make it to top eight. Yep. Congratulations to him. Nico, not out of the tournament just yet. He still has another opportunity in the loser side. Yep. Yeah, he's just got, he just needs one more match. But there are some sharks in the, in the loser's bracket. Oh, so I do not want to be in loser's bracket yeah, right we, now. I don't, I don't want to be in bracket, period. <laughs> <laughs> That's too many, very scary too many killers. To yep. None of that looks fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Then we're going to go ahead and just wait to see what our potential next match is. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying SoCal Chronicles here in La Mirada, California, the That's Holiday Inn. Right. That's right. If you've been enjoying our commentary, be sure to give us a follow or on Twitter at 2 gg underscore ZFly and uh, at Sedgehog. Yes. Not, that is not that Cedric, not Sedge. Yeah. yeah. Sedgehog. That is, that is definitely my <laughs> Hey, man, you got to admit, this is also my Instagram my uh, okay. and my Twitch, so at least I got it consistent. So yeah, it's okay. Not, it's, not like se it's not like Sedge one, two, three, and then yes. Sedge Hog and all that, that, that stuff. That, so. that, all right, yeah, because right. if it if it is in fact all over the place, then it just looks like even horrible. Yeah, throw tags. Okay, so well, while we're waiting for our next set, be sure to check out Fire and Dice. They're in fact going through what looks like the uh, crew battles. Um, so if you don't have your multi Twitch open, be sure to open that up because they're fighting to find out who the best region uh, in SoCal is. Charity Invitational, the esports fundraiser in partnership with Esports Arena, Level of Live, and of course the Goodwill of Orange County. And of course we've got Hollywood Action Tuesdays here at the TCL Chinese Theater. My personally my favorite local, not just because it's close at home to me, but because it has uh, you know half off on popcorn and food and stuff like that. And we also got MSM, my uh, one of my favorite locals as well. Been going there for almost over a year now. And of course, you can check out the next one on January 7th. We're giving away some free stock pins, so you should go ahead and check that out. And then lastly, we got Heart of Battle uh, coming up on February 9th, the week after Genesis. You guys should right. check it out. We got more games besides Ultimate, Aces, Arms, Pokemon, and Splatoon. You should check that out on Smash.gg. And of course, Studio Bido. If you have not checked them out, be sure to look at them. Check them out on Twitter. Uh, I think they have Instagram as well, but check them out on Twitter because, you know, they made all these layouts and they have, uh, they used to do controllers. I don't know if they do anymore, uh, but you should, you know, what's a good way to find out? Check them out on Twitter. Yes. And of course, we've got the Super Light Shield. Of course, take care of your controllers as soon as uh, they're available and uh, be able to take care of them. Yeah. Okay. So you Sweet. take a break if you want. So we're going to jump to a quick break. Looks like we're waiting for our next match to come up. Uh, and there's a couple losers matches that need to catch up to a point where we are in bracket. So, again, if you haven't checked us out on Twitter, I'm at 2GG underscore ZFly. And I'm at Sedgehawk. We don't stick, or uh, do stick around. We'll be right back. <laughs> 